one day when I was scrolling through Instagram, you know, as you do, I came across this video. Hi, I'm Emma Bennett and here are five reasons why you definitely don't want to read my new romance, The Baby Plan. Reason number one is that the hero Samson is based on the actor Chris Hemsworth. Talk about yuck. Reason number two is that it contains a super cute rescue dog called Mutt and as we all know dogs are just the worst. Reason number three is that it has the impossible love trope and who on earth would be interested in reading about that. Reason number four is, well, you know that film Baby Boom starring Diane Keaton that we all hate? Well, it definitely has those vibes. And finally, reason number five is that if you do read it, then you're just going to want to go and read all my other books that are available. And frankly, that's quite the commitment. I directly went to Amazon and ordered the book. The book has now arrived. Hope you enjoy that. Uh <laughs> Chris Hemsworth isn't really like my type. Um, he's he's a bit too muscly for me. Uh, but I do think he's quite funny. So I do see I see I see the charm in him of him in him. One of those. Um, a dog called Mutt. Are you joking? That's adorable. And the impossible love trope just intrigues me. <laughs> so. <laughs> you got me. Um, I actually don't think I've seen Baby Boom, so I don't know about that one. I may look it up later and see if it's available to me and I'll watch it, possibly. We'll see. And yeah, um, reading all the author's books, uh, Emma's books in this case, yes, that is a problem I usually have uh, when I find an author I like. I just want to read everything, including grocery lists. So, you know, but we're here for one thing. So I've been saving this so I could open it on screen with you. Um, it's, let's see, where's my, it's not been opened yet. Um, so, you know, let's do, let's do this together because it's exciting. Well, that was off pudding. Can I, can I, that was very, there we go. There we go. Ooh. <gasps> it's a small one. What am I doing? Oh, I like it. It's, it's a tiny one. I like a tiny one. Not a tiny one. But it's um it's a short one. Let's see how many pages are there? 161 pages. That's nothing. Emma, you tease you. You tease. Okay, let's uh, let's read the blurb together, shall we? So, um, sometimes life doesn't go exactly to plan. Very true. Sophie's perfectly settled life as an accountant in London is turned upside down when the phone rings in the middle of the night. I don't like when people call me in the middle of the night. An earth-shattering revelation leaves Sophie as sole carer for her eight-month old niece Alana who she never knew existed oh no with just one look at this tiny beautiful baby she falls in love well that's gonna be a cute one then then there's a knock at the door and Sophie's life turns upside down all over again what standing outside is possibly the best looking man she's ever seen I like it. Tall, tanned and blonde, he's like the star on <laughs> He's like the star of an Australian TV show. <laughs> Cheeky. His name is Samson and apparently he's Alana's father. Oh. Sophie and Samson don't know the first thing about taking care of a baby, but they're determined to ignore the growing attraction between them and make it work. So they plan so they make a plan. Sophie and Alana will move into Samson's spare room so they can look after this beautiful baby together. But can they put their feelings aside and stick to the plan? Oh, I get the impossible romance. 
part now because you know your sister's ex and looking after their baby yeah oh this is gonna be interesting um i'm very much that was a thing i'm very much looking forward to this An uplifting feel-good romantic comedy i do like that i love this cover yeah so um i'm gonna be reading this uh today and i'm gonna be checking in with you hopefully i remember to do it throughout so not just in the end um uh, but i will definitely uh, well definitely in the end but hopefully in the middle too we'll see we'll see see you in a minute where to begin well i'll, I'll start with saying that i decided to scrap the whole uh, continuously updating vloggy thing because well well I ended up just you know spoiling the whole book the only bit that I'm keeping is this clip what kissing? yeah I, I had to I had to didn't I I had to so the circumstances in this story are a bit weird I mean so we have Sophie her sister Natasha uh, ends up in a car crash it's literally on the verge it's not much it's not the first page <laughs> it's literally the prologue car crash boom <laughs> Sophie rushes to the hospital only to find out that she's passed <sighs> and then <laughs> and then she picks up uh, her sister's phone uh, which has been calling non-stop so much so the nurse has turned it off uh she picks it up and it's this woman like screaming at her like where are you oh blah blah blah, blah. and sophie's like um excuse me who is this uh eventually ends up being uh the mother of the baby sister of alana natasha's baby and sophie's niece uh so sophie goes to well collect Alana but she doesn't really know that yet uh and she's like she she's she's having a she's having a moment and this mother this mother is yelling at Sophie like just yelling at her uh about Natasha being such a terrible mother blah 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 <laughs> and while well, meanwhile Sophie's trying to say well you know what she she was in a car crash she doesn't actually end up saying anything but in that moment I would have been like this this strange lady is yelling at me and I'm not getting a word in edgewise so I'd be like she just died <laughs> um yeah uh, that didn't end up happen happening because Sophie is a much better person well character than I am I tend to like when, when people are either yelling at me or like going at me saying a bunch of things you should do this you should do that and I'm like I don't want to do any of those things and it's not actually up to you to decide I kind of go into like defense mode and go like ah but that's me that's me um and not a lot of people actually know that so when it's happened they're like uh you're such a weirdo yes i am a weirdo but that's not exactly why that's just my mental health anyway that's, <laughs> that's not what this fuck is about um baby plan anyway um as uh, the blurb said, um, uh, well, S Sophie eventually ends up at Natasha's flat, her sister's flat, and where <laughs> this strange man comes knocking at the door, Samson, you know, <laughs> Alana's dad. Turns out, like, the day before, uh, uh, Natasha had, like, uh, gone to Samson's house and been, been like, this is your baby and he'd be like what and then later uh when the car crash happened she was actually on her way to sophie's to supposedly talk to her first but also deliver a letter she wrote eventually to another like the blurb said sophie ends up moving in with samson so later on we do end up having some uh povs from samson 
um, but mostly it's just Sophie. But just from Sophie's point of view, we can see Samson is actually attracted to her. Just tiny little snippets. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say about that. But I will say this. <laughs> so, sum up. Loved it. It's such a short book. I honestly didn't think it was going to be that short, but it, it's, you know how some books can be like drawn out. They have way too many words. This does not have too many words, but it still gets every point across. So it's basically a condensed, massive novel. <laughs> It's basically condensed without it actually being so. You get everything you actually need, every explanation, every things happening and so on. So you don't you're not actually missing out on anything and you get a very big story in very few pages. So well done, Emma. Well done. I would like to ask for something though. Could there be a sequel in the future? I have ideas. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Especially um, the last chapter and the epilogue. It gave me ideas. <laughs> uh, honestly, such a cute book. Go read it. Very short. You'll read it in less than a day. Unless you're a very slow reader. Um, which, I mean, you can be. That's fine. I mean, it, it did take me longer to read than I anticipated, but that's not because of the book or my slow reading. It's because I had needy cats. <laughs> I'll put in a picture of when I was editing the intro to this video. Yeah. Yeah, I have needy cats. <laughs> I have needy cats. Anyway, um, that's it for this video. Go read. Yeah. You like a rom-com? Go do it. Get sucked in from the reverse psychology of the real Emma did. Yeah. Go do it. Alright, thank you so much for watching. I shall see you all next time. Until then, take care. Oh, bye-bye.